Wait, like, do we use that side if we're going left and this Nope, way? nope, you're staying on the same side. If you're going right, you're going down this way. You can take a few lefty shots on this way, but if you're going, you're, you're shooting right that way, you're shooting left this way. Try and recognize really quick. When you shoot right, you bring your shoulders like this, really over the top. Take a normal shot righty, take a normal shot lefty, and try and see if you can feel what the difference is between the two. Good, you kind of feel that, how you come in really over the top, got on, on balance. Have a short, shoot normally lefty, and see if you can feel it. Maybe stay more level with your shoulders. Yeah. Nice. More three quarter with this right hand side. So I know it's hard because it's your off hand, but fire through that right side, that right shoulder. We'll just take that hand to drive over the other one chase. So five each side. Sometimes with your lefty, more especially when you're trying to aim, you like kind of flick it out at the end of your shot. Make sure you're always pulling your hand over the over the elbow. Good, better. Now keep it three quartered. Let's no side on here. Keep it a little bit more over the top of that left. That's one or two more. That hand drive over your elbow. You can do another left. There you go. Nice. All right, let's switch sides. All right, we're just going on the runs. Let's slow it down a little bit and I want us mainly just working on getting it off our outside foot in, in, a, in three steps, okay? Here, we're just working on the timing of planting that foot, right? Letting that outside foot land before we rotate. So go a little bit slower on your dodges. Try and get them off by the green cones and you can still do your splits and rolls, whatever you want on that orange cone. Right, and especially when we're doing the three step, this is where you might want to think about like stomping off that, off that outside foot a little bit more. So take our time and once I'm ready, just stomp off that left foot or that outside foot and fire. Good. Let the foot land before you rotate that one. Good. You have too much air time on your plant foot like that outside foot. You're here and the dude is like taking too long to stop. It's got to be quicker, maybe like a shorter step. That was good. One more left. A little bit more to the side. A little bit more over the top. Good. So it's a split and then a jab, yeah. Yeah, try and think about it like this. So if we're starting it in my right hand, I'm going to jab to that hand. So I'm going to split, jab. Let's think about it. It's a split and a right to right. So split mm -hmm. and a left to right. So, and then right timing is another big one. We want to be getting our right to right or our jab in probably right after the white line. So I'm going to have to start my split here. Boom. Yep, yeah, that's good. Yeah, and it looks like you're just trying to like whip. Good. Damn good. Give me a little bit more shape on your right to right from up to left. You got your split down. Right. We're gonna let this orange dot split me right in half. So I'm doing the left to left here. Let's get this left shoulder all the way to the other side. I just try and after these next few reps, try and just feel out. And there's no like right or wrong answer. Try and just feel out what, what you think you're doing correctly with your left that you're not doing with your right. Okay. okay, so we're gonna go on the run here and. Um, this one will be the same thing, but it's going to be a split and almost like a hezzy. So, almost the same move, but we're just going to um, get rid of the like jab. Okay, so I want to really that, but I'm 
go on the ground. Foot here. Yeah. You feel that on your right side? I just feel so. It's coming cool. out like side up. Okay, so let's get to our split a little bit quicker, and then we're just trying, and then we're trying to, like, like the goal of it is trying to get them to open up the hips like we want to come back this way. So let's open, and then we'll give a jab, split, boom, good, good. Right side, that, that was a good, really good one. Continue to drive that right hand. That's better, that was more overhand. Good. It doesn't necessarily right there you kind of like held up it. I still want you to make sure you aim and follow through correctly. It just doesn't have to be ripping the net each time. Good, and now. Okay, and then last thing. I like you guys. You're taking two bigger props. But the thing about it as a defenseman, right? If we beat our slide, Chris guy's right here. He's gonna be able to get you right here. So let's shoot. Two yards before the white line if we can. Same thing. So it's little smaller crow hops and let's try and get that just a little bit earlier. For you, your last one, you were here. And you just did kind of a simple roll, which is fine. But let's give some let's give something to get the defense to like react or move his feet, whether that's a jab or we like hezzy or accelerate or it's either it's a rocker and we open up. And then I explode into it. We worked on it last week. But that a little acceleration or just a little bit of footwork. True, that's okay. But I want us to really stress activating everything and letting the hand come last. Right? It's the last thing you start firing through. On your left side, it looks, I, I just took a video and watched it. Oh. There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Woo! Oh, you catch. Has to get off by the white line. To me, what's what it looks like is you're trying to rip the net rather than like. Do you feel? You just dip that right shoulder again. More, more, right more overhand. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a. I'll take the tilt the opposite way.
Good. This one's hard for you, Chase, because you take big steps, so you're going to have to take shorter, choppier steps loading up into your shot. Yeah, like whatever dodge you're making, like as you're loading it, as you're going into like a co-op or whatever, boom. I might have to take like a few choppy steps here. Boom. Here. Two more each side. Yeah, that was a great one. That was a great one. Because we had this low angle here, you're making you think about aiming a lot, not just, not just to the corner. Be more willing to miss and think less about your aim. Good. I'll take it. Oh. There we go. Shifty. Good. That was a nice explosion into that. Good. Good. Uh, now let's also work on, you're doing a good burst after the dodge, so let's also incorporate a few bursts before the dodge. So, you know, we're not going to discuss the exploding into a split or exploding into a roll. Cool. Sometimes your hand, so when we missed left or right, like that last shot, hand got like kind of swung way to the outside. Always pulling the hand on a straight line towards the target, all right? So try not to let it like swing to the outside. You, 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 were, you started three quarter and you ended up side arm. Hand drives it over the elbow. Let it rotate out and through the left side. Good. So feel how you're a little bit off balance? Yeah. So if you need to take two more steps after your shot, do your whole row and then take another small two step in our shoot. Think about this. And I'm thinking about this. Help you get it out to that top side of the thing. Now I like that. At least we're at least we're pulling a little bit wide. We got our last uh oh. Did we talk about this on the, um, I think we did the end. If, when we toe drag, what, what did he do? He just toe dragged and the ball fell out. So what did he do? Or what should he have done? Arm across too fast. So use your body to help pull this, the stick across when you toe drag. That side? side we'll be done in a few minutes there. Yes, good. Now when we did it on the run, it was, you were yeah, nice and balanced. Go one more and then finish off with the on the run. Go ahead. So we got two more each. Good. Whole body wasn't out. I think that that string opening you up more. Man, punch me. What I mean by that is when you're rolling, 
Sometimes your foot's landed here and now you're having to spend your pro hop to realign your feet. You can get all the way open in our roll. So now when I'm pro hopping, I'm pro hopping straight towards the net. It's gonna help keep us balanced. Good. Count, Chase. Ooh.